Hi everyone, it's Miriam Pinellas. It's the 27th of Elul, and this is Chasidus' medicine. And I just wanted to take a moment to help us reflect on the time and prepare for Rosh Hashanah, the new year, which is coming in just a few short days. Um, I wanna thank you all for being here with me and hanging in all these months. We began back in the month of Nisan, in the time of spring, in the time of Pesach, and we talked about how the energy movement of that season um, and the spiritual energy of that time is upward and outward, like plant life, like trees, the geula energy, the, the idea of expansiveness um, was associated with the spring. And we worked through that in Nisan and ER to receiving the Torah and Sivan. It was a lot of up and out spreading energy and now we find ourselves in Elul, soon approaching Tishrei, and the energy is changing. We're moving into the autumn season, and it's more of an inward gathering energy, like an inward and downward. This is the energy of the lungs. This is the energy of autumn. So you see it in nature, practically, the days are getting shorter. So it brings us inward into the evenings and into sleep, hopefully earlier. Um, you see it on a physiological level with the lungs, which are vulnerable right now to allergies and cold season. It's already manifesting in people. Um, and we see it spiritually in the month of Elul and Tishrei, which is this time of going inward to self. We spent spring and Pesach time outward, out and about, and, it's, and now it's time to come inward. It's our teacher in coming inward. And the reason is to get a to get us ready for the high holidays, this time of teshuva. The word teshuva means return. Again, reflecting that time to come back to myself. And what is myself? What we studied um, a couple months back about the month of Elul, this time we're in now, and how the Hasidus teaches and the Bava Cherevi teaches that Elul is a time of love. It's a time when the King Hashem is in the field. He's here with us now. And this time is a time of mercy and of just knowing that I, I, a person, all of us are loved as we are for who we are. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe says, ev makes a point of saying, even before I do a mitzvah, before a Jewish person does a mitzvah or does any teshuva, any return, that person is loved. And I've seen this, I've used this as a foundation for my life ever since I learned it just a couple years ago, but it's really shifted how I am with myself and how I am with the world. I always come back this in gathering to this truth of love. That's the foundation. That's the basis of my relationships and interactions. That's what I strive for. And so this knowing is very important. And this movement inward is a time to get in touch with that. And so I hope you have some time before the new year begins to take time alone and get in touch with that truth. That truth being that unconditional love and acceptance that is coming from God himself and that we can ho hopefully strive to give to ourselves and to the people in our lives. Um, this energy is also mirrored in the shofar, the main mitzvah of the new year. Rosh Hashanah is to hear the shofar. And the shofar, if you think of its shape, it begins as a narrow opening, pointing to this gathering of it, this inside gathering of um of the autumn season, it's narrow, it's more inward, right? And then the shofar opens up into a wider opening and we get its sound. So pointing to the gifts and and the, the, the point, right? The point of coming inward is to come back out. Like the shofar starts narrow and widens. We have to come inward and gather ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. So that's, this means physical rest, this means um, knowing my worth, emotional health, and then this, the spiritual wealth, knowing my spiritual self, um, in, in order that I can go back out and do whatever it is I'm here to do. And life is this constant movement of out and in, breath out and in, the heart also beating, the heart beats out and in. And life is this con should be the constant movement and we get a little stuck in times when we stay too inward or too outward for too long, right? That's where the disharmony and imbalance comes up and that's where symptoms can come up too. So 
The Jewish year is our teacher, the seasons, the holidays are our teacher in breathing and how to move through life. I want to bless you all with a very happy, very healthy, very sweet new year. Stay tuned.